This is the fanciest bus I've ever seen. Today we are heading to the amazing city of Oaxaca. We've got loads of cool stuff planned there, but first we have to get there. That's going to involve getting back down from Anguan and the mountains to Europan, where we then change buses and head to Mexico City, and then we have to change buses again before we get to Oaxaca. It's going to be a long couple of travel days. Well, we're aware that you've seen us on buses quite a lot recently, so we'll try to make it interesting for you. It's quite difficult to leave here, I'll be honest. There's a stray cat that we've adopted. She's very affectionate. See you later. We're not 100% sure where the bus is going to pick us up from. So we've just headed to the spot where it dropped us off and we're waiting on the other side of the road. I did ask someone and he kind of pointed vaguely over here. So I think this is right. Not sure how long we have to wait for, but Someone's selling food over there, maybe I'll grab a snack. No time for snack because the bus is here. This is the situation on the bus. I have a seat, but Dale does not. <laughs> I'm squatting. <laughs> I'm engaging my thigh muscles. <laughs> I feel really bad because our big bags are taking up so much space, but we're trying to move in as much as we can. <laughs> Thankfully, it's not a long journey. Ah, it's quite bumpy though. Easy for you to say, you've got a seat. You can have my seat. No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> To be completely honest, that was not the most comfortable hour I've spent on a bus. Once again, my butt hurts. It's a bit of a walk to the bus stop where we're getting the bus to Mexico City, but that's okay because I really need to stretch my legs. We've got a six and a half hour bus ride ahead of us. Neither Izzy or I have eaten at all this morning and on the way to the next bus station, we keep on passing loads of food vendors. It's getting really hard not to stop and get some food. Uh, Mexico City? Uh, okay, gracias. So it's not that one. Okay, gracias. Gracias, senor. Apparently not that one either. So it's getting very difficult to get a bus to the nation's capital. Hola, Mexico City? It took us a while but we finally found the right desk to get our tickets from. We've got about half an hour until our bus and Izzy's just gone to grab us some food because like we said earlier it's going to take us about six hours to get to Mexico City and we haven't eaten all day. I really hope she gets something good. I'm hungry. Izzy's just dropped off some crisps and she's just run off to get more food. I've no idea what she's getting. <laughs> donuts. There you go. There's no way I could get donuts without getting coffee. This bus is even fancier than the one that we got from Mexico City. This is the fanciest bus I've ever seen. Let's not have been on. <laughs> oh, mm. oh. Mm. We don't get buses like this in the UK. I wish we did. Although if we did, they'd probably cost like a hundred quid for a ten minute journey. So what out UK bus service. <laughs> You can probably tell it's pretty late now so the only thing left to do today is get a metro across mexico city to where we're staying and then pass out in bed oh another long travel day tomorrow Ooh. 
more buses. Hopefully this next bus is as comfortable as that one was. Mm. Oh, come on. Yeah. We realise for you that this journey has been a few minutes so far, but for us, it's been about 12 hours. So for now, we're going to go to bed and we'll see you in the morning. Today, we're getting our final bus to Oaxaca. It's been a long journey getting here, and I don't just mean the last couple of days. I mean, we actually tried to come here previously, but then Dale was sick and we missed our flight. So we ended up going to Mexico City and then the mountains. And now we're finally going. I'm really looking forward to it because it is supposed to be the food capital of Mexico. If you want to watch 10 plus minutes of me being ill, go check out that video. Okay. Gracias. Gracias. Once again at a Mexico City bus station, we struggle to find what desk we're supposed to go to. I think it's the one next door. We're finding it slightly confusing that the same company has different desks for different buses going to the same place. But we think we're at the right place now. We think that we're at the right place now, and I think it's become sort of a catchphrase of this channel. <laughs> we do end up saying that a lot. <laughs> So it is currently one o'clock and we were hoping to get the bus at two o'clock to Oaxaca, but it turns out the next one that's available isn't until four. That means that we've just got to hang out at the bus station for the next few hours and we can get some work done. But since this is the largest bus station either of us have ever seen, I'm sure it'll be quite easy to entertain ourselves. There are a lot of food places and coffee. Three hours went by really quickly and now it's time to get our bus. Okay. I don't think I've ever been patted down for a bus before. At least we know that there will be no bombs on the bus. Because That's of true. Security. Yeah. <laughs> I feel safe. Similarly to our last bus, this takes about six and a half hours, and then we'll be in Oaxaca. After spending 14 hours in the last two days on buses, I'll be completely honest, I'll be glad not to see the inside of one for a little while, but I'm super happy that we've made it to Oaxaca because we've got some really cool things planned whilst we're here. Taxi! What? Taxi! Taxi? Taxi. Yeah, uh, the place we're staying is a little bit far to walk and considering we've arrived at... 11. 11? 11? 11. 11 p.m. there's no public transport, so... We're doing what we don't usually do and getting a taxi. Also, my head is really red. <laughs> Why is it so red? I fell asleep leaning on the seat in front of me. <laughs> Mexico has been a pretty awesome country so far, but I do have one tiny complaint. It's so big that it takes ages to get anywhere. We're not used to that coming from England, which is a tiny island. So for this Airbnb, we don't have any check-in instructions. They just sent us the address and said they'd meet us here. I messaged them telling us, us? It's very late. I messaged them saying that we're here now. I had told them we'd be arriving at 11 p.m. They said that wouldn't be a problem, but they're yet to reply, so. We've been waiting outside for half an hour now. We've tried knocking, we've tried ringing the bell, but yeah. Getting a little bit worried now. Hola. Thank you. 
it was worth the wait for our host to let us in because she was very kind and made us traditional drinking chocolate. But seeing as it is very late, we are going to go to bed. We're very excited to be exploring Oaxaca whilst we're here. Seeing as we're in the nation's food capital, we're going to do a food tour. I'm so excited to try lots of traditional Mexican food. There's some stuff that I've never heard of. It's more than just tacos here. <laughs> but for now, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow. By the way, that red patch on my forehead from where I leant on the seat in front of me? Yeah, that was because the dye from the seat had run and stained my head. It took a while to get it off, but I think I'm good now. What are you doing? What is this? I'm trying to quickly learn some sign language because our driver is deaf, I think. So to say yes in sign language, Take a hand, make it into a fist, and bob it back and forth, resembling a head nodding. Like that. Yeah. To say no, take your first two fingers and tap them with your thumb. Ah, yes. No. I could do my name in sign language, I think. I'm not going to try in case I get it wrong. This is going on the internet. <laughs> That's really hot. <laughs> yeah. It's nice though. It's really good. It's better than our hot chocolate. Yeah.